What always blows my mind about The Nightmare Before Christmas is that at that time, everything was done on film. For stop motion, that means shooting every frame one by one and then waiting for that footage to develop. They did have a monitor in which they could see the last two frames they shot and compare them to what they're about to shoot, but otherwise it was pretty raw compared to 2D animation. Animators would go through a whole scene shooting only a few frames called a pop through in order to see how far a character needs to walk, what problems they might run into, how to stage a characters in the shot and lighting, all that jazz. And on the first frame they shot, they would actually draw an outline around the character and as the scene progresses and they continue to animate, that outline shows them how far the character has walked. Once they were ready to animate the scene for real, they moved on to the hero shot that hopefully ends up in the final film. But along the way, any of those tests or the final hero shot, you take a frame and that was it. You can maybe edit the film afterwards by literally cutting it up, but otherwise you gotta start from the beginning all over again. 